what's up guys Mike MTG Jedi here and we are chilling with this Omastar raid that hopefully we uh, stay close enough to um, okay I got in uh, Omastar you have some options grass types are gonna be super effective um, and your fighting is gonna be good as well uh, a lot of the same Pokemon that you have used for um, Cloyster um, in my last video are going to be great here as well. Okay, so um, I want to start out with the Machamp first, I think. Um, we got Meganium, guys. We got Meganium. You probably shouldn't use um, Meganium. I I don't think that we should use um, Jolteon actually because it's rock. It it is rock. It is going to be not effective. So I'm going to put Ursaring in here. Uh, I have the a maxed out Ursaring with fighting moves, and I think that that is going to be good. Um. Your fighting types and your grass types are obviously going to be the best. And maybe we'll switch the Machamp. The Machamp first. And then the Ursaring. Okay. So, um, Omastar is water and rock. And that makes it unique because you can't use your... Uh, electric types, unfortunately. Um, we've got Elijah chilling in the background here, uh, and Isaac's back there as well. Um, uh, would they were gonna try it on the hardcore mode account, but it, it's just sure. not a level 30 player. I don't think can beat this raid. I'm not certain, but I don't think so. Daddy, we're not, I'm not gonna try. Not gonna try. Okay. No, it's gonna be way All right. Better. So we're gonna take on this Omastar, and I don't know if you guys know this, but I love Omastar. It is one of my favorite Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Um, I never liked it. I mean, I, I've always thought it was cool in the original main series games. Um, but I in Pokemon Go, I love it. Omanite, Omastar, they are awesome to me. I have uh, a pretty maxed not all the way but i have a high cp omastar um that i nicknamed the great cthulhu and so i think that's really cool um now in comparison we are not doing as well against this omastar as we did against the cloister so i don't think i'm gonna dodge it has rock blast which is the triple move and so we should be able to take some hits, but my team's going down pretty quick, so I might have to dodge. Um, I wish I had dodged with this uh, maxed out Venusaur, um, but we'll see. Uh, definitely these first three attackers are my best. Uh, uh, and one of the things with these new raids is you really need a bunch of good attackers. Uh, I might have to go switch some moves on my second executor that I had as Psychic. Man, I keep lag missing the dodge. Um, but anyway, listen to some music, uh, watch my kids uh, be ridiculous in the background, I'm sure. And uh, hopefully we can beat this in 80 seconds. It is not looking good, though. Oh, so close. No. Okay. Oh, so... we have a retry. All right, we did not make it. Let's use some TMs. Um, I had this, um, this executor for when I did my, uh, sold my first Machamp. Ah, one TM each, that's nice. Um, but now I need to change his name. What are we going to name him? Let's name him Beamer. Why are we naming yeah. him Beamer? Beamer, because of Solar Beam. Okay. Bullet Seed Solar Beam. Uh, his IVs are not great. Uh, I like 
conserving my Stardust. So if I find a level 30 with decent IVs, sometimes I'll put a little bit of Stardust into them because it's already powered up. Um, I actually think the key to this might be the Megania. Um, so we're going to put them at champ first and try to dodge a couple moves with them at champ. Um, then let's put the Meganium in there. I really, the Meganium is tanky, guys. If you have not used Meganium, it is really beefy. The problem is we get discouraged by its max CP. And as you can see here, my standards for, uh, uh, putting Stardust in are low, uh, sometimes. 72% uh, Meganium, that, that's ridiculous. All right, so this is gonna be our team, and I will, uh, I'll pause the video here and then come back on in a minute when it's ready to go. All right, here we go. I um, almost missed the start of this, um, but I got it, I got it. We got this, we got this. All right, uh, Omastar, take number two, let's go. Oh, this is not starting out well. 172. That's so bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna conserve my potions here and just start this over again. Yeah. All right, here we go, same team, just hopefully less lag. We started at 172 or something yeah, last time. There we go, 177 or 176. That is much better. I don't understand. The timer should just start whenever the first attack goes. And I don't know why that is not a thing. All right, we dodged it. And we dodged it again. Uh, with those three bar moves, he's going to spam this. He's going to really get it in there a ton of times. That's how he's going to do the most damage to you. And you want to try to dodge the Rock Blast. I actually think Hydro Pump would be uh, an easier move set to solo because uh, it will be less times that you have to dodge. Ah, I totally dodged that. Okay. If we get one more charge move in here, I think that would be no. Almost, but no. That was definitely much better than last time. All right, here we go. Listen to some music rock out. This is going much better. I still don't know that we're going to make it, but it is going much better. Daddy. What's up, buddy? Um, why does it have that on my face? Like that green thing. This is recording you. I thought it was recording you. And you. And me. Yeah. Has we were thing. not in the yellow by 90 seconds, guys. We're I not going to beat this. You can do it, Daddy. I don't think it's possible. I don't know why it is not going as well. Maybe we just can't dodge. It's because it always does damage when you dodge. Well, there's pros and cons to dodging, right? If you don't dodge, then your charge moves uh, power up faster. Um, and you do get more damage in, but your Pokemon die quicker. Um, I'm telling you guys, Meganium, much better than people give it credit for. He gets a bad rap because of his low CP, but... Um, he is not bad. Don't spam it. Get in there. Oh. I know it's super mm. annoying when it does that. I, uh, mm. If we had gotten that charge move off, I think we would have made it. But as it is, I don't think so. No. Um. Uh, this is still pretty me? close if we get another charge move off. Nah, I think we're going to miss it by just a little bit again. No. No. Yep. Look. Wait. Whoa. It's so close. Did we? Oh, guys. No, that should have counted. There's nothing there. There's no bar. All right. One last try probably, and then I got to go do more errands. All right. I think this is the last try we have. If you saw there, uh, four grass-type Pokemon first. Um, 
I think we're gonna have a oh, 177. Oh, that's good. I think we're gonna have a higher damage output from the grass Pokemon. It is double super effective, um, and Solar Beam is one of the best moves in the game. We're not gonna dodge, and we're gonna try to get off as many Solar Beams as possible, and then the 100% IV Machamp, my uh, Cam, um, he is gonna bring it in uh, after the four grass types. Oh no! He got the health back. I think we're gonna we're do gonna it. Gonna beat it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna, gonna beat it. You're gonna beat it. Champ. Yeah, you're gonna do it. We're gonna have to start dodging moves. We're always gonna hold 40 seconds. That is not a lot, and uh, close combat does not do as much damage. No, I think you can still do it. Oh, it's going to be close again, guys. It's going to be close again. I think we got it this time. Uh, the grass types and my Machamp. One it. more. Come on. Do we get it? Yeah, there we go. High fives. Whew. Omastar, a little tricky it? there. Yes, my son, you may catch it. Let's see what we get. Four rare candies, that's what I'm talking about. The potions are nice. No TMs. All over um, here. We are going to go uh, do some pre-wedding errands. <clears throat> I have to okay. get my fiance's wedding present finished up. She's going to love it, guys. And uh, that is Omastar. So the key to Omastar is those grass types. Uh, most of you will have a bunch of executors. My personal favorite is Venusaur. So power up that Venusaur, power up those executors. It will be useful in other situations as well. This is Mike, MTG Jedi, and uh, go solo some raids. I'm going to link the Vaporeon solo raid at the end of this video because it is the most similar to this in my opinion, and you'll see the Meganium holding it down in that video too, so go check that out.